What's up guys, Nerfs and Pizza. I'm back, bringing you guys another gameplay commentary. But today, what you guys are watching in the background is actually not Call of Duty. I know this is the first time in a long, long time that this has not been a Call of Duty gameplay in the background. Today, what you guys are watching is some NHL 14 gameplay. Playing as the Vancouver Canucks, my favorite team, my home team. And I think I'm playing against the St. Louis Blues here. And you know, this is just a big gameplay of highlights from this game. And... You know, I've been taking a little break from Call of Duty Ghost. I just got NHL 14, and I'm really enjoying the game. Uh, it, it's definitely a lot better than the last NHL. They've improved quite a few things. Uh, I just really like the overall feel of the game, and it's, you know, it's just nice to have a nice break from Call of Duty. But uh, I'll definitely go, be going back on the gameplay grind this weekend. Uh, I just decided to play some NHL 14, you know. It's pretty fun. I've been a fan of the NHL series for a while now. And I've wanted to get this game for a while and do some videos of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay in the background. And today what I'll be talking about is the 2014 hockey in the Olympics. Now, first off, let's start with the women's side of the things. Uh, obviously, I, I cheer for Team Canada. That's my team. That's where I come from. And Canada's really obviously dominated the Olympics. Yeah, I know. But let's start off with the women's hockey. Uh, now, I didn't watch too many of the women's games. Uh, I didn't get a chance to watch any of those. Uh, simply because I wasn't sure when they were actually. Like, I only knew the men's schedule. But Canada obviously won all their preliminary games. Won the semifinals easily past Switzerland. Uh, Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland. And they won the bronze medal, actually. And today, we got to watch the gold medal game. Uh... We're actually watching it like in the middle of our school, like where there's a TV there and you know, there's just a big group of people and we were watching it. Everyone was super excited when Canada tied it up 2-2. If you guys haven't uh, seen any highlights before, Canada tied it up 2-2 with like a minute to go. And then Canada ended up scoring the winning goal into overtime with about 10 minutes left or so. And everyone was just going crazy all over the school. People were just screaming and yeah, that was definitely a fun experience, but tomorrow we have, there's another bigger game for the hockey, which is the men's, and it's the semifinals, Canada vs. USA. Now, this game is going to be even better. Like, I don't know, the, both the rivalries are equally the same, but this one is definitely going to be an amazing game, simply because it's two North American teams playing on European ice, so the game gameplay styles will be the same. And USA is definitely going to want to get some revenge for this overtime loss against Canada and the women's. Because now Canada and the women's have four straight gold medals now. And in the men's, Canada's looking to repeat their gold medal from 2010, obviously. But yeah, in the other semifinals, we have Sweden and Finland. Now this game, I I think it's going to be really interesting. And the reason why I say that is because you have Sweden and Finland. And they are both European teams. They are a little bit of the older side of the teams. They have some really good veterans. Um, and, you know, a couple young people, as, as always. But these teams are really equally matched. They both have a uh, good scoring team. They have really good defense on each side. So this game should definitely be a very close one. I'm interested to watch that one, too. But I'll be definitely watching the Canada-USA game in class like I've been doing for the other games. Uh, I think it starts at 9 a.m., 9 a.m. Pacific time and I'm just really excited to watch that game and I think the finals my prediction is going to be Canada versus Sweden and uh, hopefully that's the two teams that will make it a, I really hope that's what they do because just a quick summary of Canada's Olympics so far uh, for the men's Canada beat Norway 3-1 that was their first game. They weren't. They didn't play that well, and uh, they obviously should have won way more than that against Norway, who ended up being last place. And they were the only team not to win a game in the men's out of the out of the whole twelve teams. So all the other teams won a game, or at least lost in like shootout or overtime or something like that. But Norway's the only team not to win. Then they played Austria, and they won six nothing. Austria won one game, and that was against Norway in the preliminary rounds. Then they played. Who was it? Finland. I didn't get to watch that game, but they did end up winning in overtime, 2-1. Uh, that was a pretty good game. Obviously, I didn't get to watch it, but uh, that's okay. And then the quarterfinals, man, that was a close one. 
Canada played Latvia, who's actually the 11th seed. They never won any games in the preliminary round, but they upset in Nor uh, Austria, I believe. Yeah, they, no, not Austria. They upset in Switzerland, actually, who was the 8th seed, and they were 11th seed. They advanced to the quarterfinals. They have a really tough challenge to Canada, even if they are really not known for hockey. They fought, and they defended super strong, and Canada only ended up winning 2-1 that game. But, you know, it's a really good experience for Canada just to kind of get it going, get into the, uh, what what's the word for it, like intense feeling of a game when it's close and winding down. And I think Canada's ready for this game against USA. Uh, like I said earlier, it's really going to be exciting. What's it going to be like? Is it going to be high scoring? Is it going to be low scoring? I don't know. Tell me in the comment section down below if you're still watching this video. Do you think Team Canada will win or not? And, uh maybe some score predictions and I know some of my viewers are Americans so you know just comment down your predictions down below and uh, yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about is the Olympics and I'll leave you guys with some music for the rest of the video and I'll see you guys later I'm out peace